Business Brain, episode 477 for Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023. <music> Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show where we tune our business brains together by dissecting a topic or two every single week, sometimes twice a week. Sponsors for this episode include financingthatworks.com, where you can go and uh, Zinch is going to waive their $250 application fee for you because you're a business brain listener. We'll talk more in depth about that in a minute. For now, at least while we're recording this here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. And in Lafayette, I'm still out here in California. I'm Shannon Jean. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. We we record a few days early, usually, and uh, I will be at Podcast Movement in Denver. Well, uh, nice. Actually, I'll be flying back the day that this that this releases. So uh, I'm sure I will have things to report about that. I don't know that one industry needs two trade shows per year, yeah. two conferences per year. Saw that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that maybe after I'm back, but I, I had something I wanted to share with you, Shannon, and it, yes. it's kind of inspired by conversations that we had on Friday's show. And that is, I am a master at avoiding procrastination. Shannon, <laughs> is that right? No, it's false. Um, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> uh, I'm going to start saying that. Because that's okay. the way to get there. Like if I, yes. if I'm very specific about this, I, but it's specific about a general thing, right? Like you, you, you have to. I, I, I've been thinking a lot about these statements, like you know, my daughter's adoption of the thing from from shrinking. You know, things always work out for me, and by and large, that becomes true. You, you believe that these things are going to work, so you work towards them, assuming they are going to work. If you assume they're going to fail, you will work towards them in a different way or not work towards them. That's what we were saying last week. And so I I am a master at avoiding procrastination. I I need to be a master at avoiding procrastination because I know that when I finally do the thing that I have been avoiding, whatever the reason, I feel better about it. Now, sometimes I, I, I feel better and I'm scared. I did something today where I finally sent something off to somebody. And I was like, man, why did I wait like four days to do that? Uh, yeah. And I know the That's answer. True. It's because I've never done this particular thing before. I'm kind of playing in an arena that's new to me. And so uh, there's a fear of failure, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, but, yes. but it's like, if I failed at this thing that I sent off to this guy, it is simply that I have not yet succeeded at this and I am practicing. Right. That's the frame. That's the frame right there. I that's the it. frame. And that, that was the yeah. first thing that came to mind it was like, no, I haven't failed. I just haven't succeeded yet. And th- then the next thought that came to my head was I am a master at avoiding procrastination because I know this trick, right? That like, oh, I can avoid that. But then I thought, well, I just need to keep saying that. And, and yeah. eventually I will be a master at avoiding procrastination. It's true. It's true. Uh, it's almost like an affirmation. But almost it, I yeah think it it's is a, almost a kind of a mind hack it's a, uh, definitely a will. mind hack yeah yeah and i i uh actually you know in our show ideas i just put in there something for you down the, the an episode down the road that i think uh diving into this concept is really interesting and some tools that you can use uh you know to get you reminded of this stuff but i i, I completely agree with your idea of why aren't you doing it trying to figure out that the why and, uh, of course, well, it's good to know, uh, yeah. like I, as, as listeners know, I am in pursuit of self-awareness. I'm, I'm not there yet. Right. But I, 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 I understand that it is something that is valuable to me. And so I'm constantly sort of dissecting what I do or what I don't do and the why so that I can be aware of like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm avoiding this cause I'm scared. Okay. Well, yeah. that's acceptable. I mean, it is so therefore it's acceptable, but like, I don't need to be scared of this i i haven't done it yeah, before why I, would anybody I'm scared of yeah scared of doing it or scared of the result that might come back scared of the result in in yeah. this particular case yeah and it's like of yeah. course i'm yeah, scared of the result for me too big yeah. time <laughs> totally and the crazy thing is i've been doing this for decades mm-hmm. and i'm it, coincidentally uh i'm trying to do something new and and start another you know uh 
business, if you will, part of my revenue stack. And I find the exact same thing. You know, I've been procrastinating on doing this, learning this video tutorial concept. Yes, for I'm aware. Months, yep. <laughs> months. <laughs> and and I and uh, I think I know why. And so yesterday I finally did one and oh, really? found the tool, the tool I wanted to use. And I was just overcomplicating it. Yeah, I didn't uh, do well, it related to what we Of course to, we overcomplicate. This thing that yeah. I avoided for four God. or five days, Shannon, it took me 25 minutes to put this thing yeah. together. Now, I know it's Correct. not finished. I know it's not perfect. That was like, this was a softball that this guy asked me. He's like, put it together. You start it. I will then work it with you, but you got to start it. I'm like, oh, okay, but I thought one of our tricks that we talk about. I'm like, oh, it's gonna take (laughs) it's gonna take me an afternoon to do this. It it did not. It took me 25 minutes, you know, and it was pretty easy. I already knew what to do. (sighs) Yeah, the key is trying to step back, and but things kind of have a uh, a shelf life for me in my experience. Yes, some things I'm just like, well, why aren't I getting to this? And maybe I need to learn more. Like yesterday, part of getting this thing done that I've been trying to do was to learn a new piece of software. And uh, I know a little bit about this software. It's ConvertKit. We're, we're yeah. using it for business brain as well. But doing things like se- segmenting audiences and building workflows, oh, yeah. and all this kind of stuff, man, I was just beating my head against the wall and I kept putting it off. And as I talked about last week, my procrastination trick is to then go into something else, not to stop working, but go to another project. But I, you know, finally powered through it yesterday, got out my first uh, newsletter with a video kind of thing. Um, and and now, like you said, you're just like, man, that was so silly. I'm, every, I, I walked up. Yeah. Every single time I procrastinate something and then finally do it, it's like, God, like, why? Yeah. Why? I walked up to my office this morning. I was yeah. coming up the stairs and I said, do you think they'd be upset if I did another video and sent it out to them today? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz I was so like I got it. I got it. I got it. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. But it's good. Self-awareness. I I it yeah, with self-awareness and and just like you know, mind hacks which we've been talking about on the yeah. show for 8 years just like doing things to convince us to do the things we want to do. Like your whole thing about tell the story that or or you know, write the yeah. story that you want to tell because then you get there and it's live just, it. Yeah. Live it yeah. and and I am a master at avoiding procrastination. All right, look, if you own a small business, you know that unexpected costs can arise at any time. But Zinch understands that the unexpected is an expected part of running a business. So why wait around for a sudden impact to your business? Check out our sponsor, Zinch, today to see how you can become prepared and stay prepared. And this is because Zinch is a direct lender tailored to small and medium-sized businesses like us. Zinch makes loans simple fast and flexible and can approve up to $250,000 in under two days. When you partner with Zinch, you won't have to wait months for a traditional bank loan. Whether you're dealing with things like big bills that you didn't expect, a second computer that died in two weeks, or the costs that come from expanding your workforce, Zinch can help you with what you need when you need it. Their specialists work with you and help you choose the best solutions for your needs. And there are no commissions or third-party approvals, right? So Zinch can give you better rates, faster approvals, and keep your info secure. Don't wait for an emergency. Apply today with Zinch. For a limited time, Zinch is waiving application fees for you because you're a business brain listener. That's a $250 value for minutes of your time. So just go straight to the special URL that we have, financingthatworks.com. Again, that's financingthatworks.com. Loans made or arranged pursuant to a California finance lender's law license. And our thanks to Zinch for sponsoring this episode. All right. You've uh, you've been digging back in over on whatever that we call it now. Twix, Twitter, X. Twix. I, I think Twix. Is <laughs> yeah. it Twix is Twix is not just for kids. Wait, that's that's different. true. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different thing. It's candy bar, but still. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have. You know, um, I've so I have a confession to make. I I've had a, a Twitter X account since two thousand eight. Okay. But up until uh, about a month ago, I I think I'd sent two or three tweets and I had maybe, I don't know, 20 people to follow me. Sure. So, uh, and I stayed away nowhere from the to platform. Go with, nowhere to go but up from there. Exactly. 
I, I stayed away from it because the, a few times I had dipped into it, there was so much vitriol and, you know, it's like, whoa, this is crazy. These people are nuts. And, and uh, it, it was a different experience, but you have always told me one thing that I, I start, I remembered is you're like, well, you can create, you know, create your own feed, block out that garbage and make it something productive. Okay. Uh, What's fascinating and- to me is you're coming into this at a time it, it, there, well, I, I don't want to say there's always been sort of the the vitriol on Twitter, but yeah. but certainly, I, you know, at some point after 2008 and some point before today, it it like it arrived and it had yes. been there for a while. And now many people would argue it has quadrupled right. in the last right. year. But, but you're I, coming I, I into would, it fra- yeah. like almost fresh and saying, I no, would, no, it's better now because it's, way, it's credible. I don't know if it actually you tuned it. Yeah. Yes. I don't know if it's better or worse. My use of it Correct. is yeah. way more productive. And I would say getting back involved or getting involved in uh, in Twitter X and and connecting with the right people is already and will have a dramatic impact on my life. See? No question about it. Also, you know what? I am a master at avoiding procrastination. You are. And that's right. That's right. And so uh, the, the thing about it is, tw- you know, Twitter is if you tune your feed correctly. Yes. And I, and I have a couple of tips on this. Okay. That I've learned. If you tune your feed correctly, you can create a master class for yourself on any topic you want to learn about. Oh, absolutely. Oh, right? I mean, this yeah. has been my thing on Twitter. I mean, Correct. mostly my intentional involvement with doing that on Twitter has not been to create what I want. It's been to avoid what I don't want. Right. And, and I, yes, very, very careful not to click like or reply or anything on any content that does appear that is not to my liking. Like I don't want any political content on Twitter. I, I don't care if it's stuff I agree with or disagree with. I just, I know better than to engage with that because when I do, then that's what happens to my feed. So, yeah. so I, I, I want to stay I wanna, away. Yes. Yeah. So let me, let, I want to talk about. it works about, in the opposite direction too. Yeah. Correct. I, I want to talk about three parts of this that okay. have made, uh, maybe four, uh, that have made the difference for me. Number one is have multiple accounts. Oh. Critically important. I have Not my just account an account that, for a business and you personally, oh, no. but you have multiple personal accounts. Yes, oh. because that you can tune your feed. If I want to dump, jump back in and talk about some garbage about whatever you know, I don't know. Sure. Some, that, that's, yeah, if you wanted, that, if you wanted something somewhere where you could yes. compartmentalize for me, say the politics. I don't, by the way. Correct. But, me but if, neither. But if some, I wanted yes. that, I, I, your advice is create a separate account for that so that you can control Correct. when you're. Oh. Yes. Right. That part, makes sense. Part, I like yeah, it. Part yeah. B of having a second account is you should oh, also have, and maybe this is just your second account, but you should have an anonymous account. Okay. Because the anonymous account, and this is not to get involved in fighting and trolling or whatever, but the anonymous account, in my experience, allowed me to, to it helped me on my personal account too, on my brand, my name, Shannon mm-hmm. Jean. Mm-hmm. It, it, the anonymous account kind of opened it up and allowed me to talk, be, be more detailed and, uh, you know, uh, explain things that I probably would, I would not have explained in detail on my personal account because maybe I felt like it was bragging or boasting or something like that. But when someone engaged with you and started really asking granular questions with the anonymous account, I just broke it down and, and it was really open. I was like, wow, this is really liberating. Oh yeah, Very liberating. And when I went back to my personal account, I felt more comfortable. I said, well, you know, I can talk about some of this stuff on the personal account too. It doesn't really matter. So that has been a tool that has helped me a lot is having an anonymous account in that's, that's going in, you know, uh, concurrently with my, yes. my personal brand, you know, account. So you, and you haven't, what's the right way to say this? You haven't seen any cross pollution. None. 
Okay. I, I always I wondered got, if, yeah, if you know, if, if I'm logged in on my phone to three different accounts, I may or yeah. may not have an anonymous account on Twitter. Uh, sure. Uh, it, we're we're going to gonna link yours check. from the show notes, but I don't have one, so we're not going to link yeah. my anonymous account. But uh, Yeah, you, you really... The thing I always do is before now, I'm, I'm going to tell you why I don't tweet as much, I'm, but I will tell you how I engage in sure. a second. But okay. you, you have to check and be sure you're commenting oh, or yeah. liking from the right account or you'll screw up this whole system. Oh, right? of course. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm used to that because I have Me separate too. accounts for each of like the podcasts that I oh, do. Yeah, there you go. Right. We had a separate yep. Mac Observer account, which of course we sold with the business, but I had... You know, we have one for business brain, biz brain show, because we can't say business brain. It's too long. Uh, so we have yes. biz brain show on Twitter X. We also, I have like Mac geek gab and gig gab podcast, but yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. So the next part of this whole thing that has just kind of blown my mind and everybody around me started me talking about already is using lists oh, on Twitter. Absolutely. I mean, the power of keeping lists. Now, what I mean by list, it's just adding accounts to lists about specific topics. Yep. Like, I want to follow people that are into short-term vacation rentals, okay? For for instance, as I have a business that owns some properties that way. Sure. But I don't, I, and, but I want to be able to dip in and focus just on that topic. And the only way I know how to do it, the way I found it, is with the lists, is when you hit it, it's all those accounts that you want to see about a specific topic. Mm. Again, you're creating a master class for yourself and you say, okay, today I want to learn about, you pick, uh, software programming or, uh, you know, whatever. Um, and, and small business, what, whatever topic you whatever want. Whatever you want. You, yeah, cre yeah, yeah. you create a list that, uh, you know, will help define and, and get down to that granular thing of what you want. And it's a huge time saver and it works fantastic. And okay. you can choose when you make lists on Twitter, you can choose to make them private where you're the only yep. one that can see the members and the, even the existence of the list. Yes. But you can also make them public for other people to follow if you want to be a resource for others. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. 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 It's pretty cool. Um, okay. And now lastly, so I, you know, I started, I had like 20 followers, I don't know, a month ago or something. And I'm looking at, and one thing you'll realize once you start putting some effort into Twitter, all of a sudden, like, so there's a two columns, there's a following section where these are just accounts you follow. So it's right. fine tuned to who you want to see. But then there's another section called for you, which is the algorithmic, uh, Hey, Twitter thinks, you know, if you follow this real estate guy or this, this realtor, uh, you know, lady, you, you may find this person helpful. And, yeah, yeah. and I do find it very helpful and it, it helps you build that list. But in the, 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 the system I'm trying to create is to grow my followers on a regular basis so I can offer them, you know, uh, so I can interact with them. I love the collaboration. If that eventually leads to some sort of uh, transactional relationship, a, a digital product, a course, Great. That's awesome. Sure. And, and that would be great, but that's not the end all. So in, in about four weeks, I've grown my followers to, what am I at right now? 126. Okay. That's, that's, you've yeah. added, I mean, that's about like, a hundred. Yeah. About that's 100. great. And I've, yeah. and so, but you, you also, you get, you start to get approached by all these coaches and mm -hmm. take my course and follow my this. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Did Whoa. I lose you, Shannon? Yep. Oh, you're back. Am I still here? Yeah, okay, no, great. you're back now. That. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, good, good. Uh, one of the best tips I would, if you're trying to grow your business account, your personal account, whatever it is, if you only have 126 followers, like no one's going to read your tweets. It just doesn't, or your posts, as we call them now. It, it, you just don't have a a, a wide enough audience to get followed, uh, you know. And so, focus on other accounts, and you need to live in the comments. So go into the comments when someone's talking about something you know something about, or if you have a question from someone on sure. a topic, you go into the comments and start talking. Now, if it's your business, maybe people, maybe you're a, a pool supply person or you know pressure washer guy, whatever. There's all kinds of people up there talking and asking questions about that stuff. Every topic you could imagine. It's just like Reddit. So you have a chance to get in there, make a comment. Oh, I would. I like to do it this way. This is my experience. Um, and, and, or ask a question, have you, you know, how would you fix this? How would you do this? 
that engagement is how you really those follow you start going to start growing those followers because you're you're kind of hijacking uh or or what do they call it non permissive mentoring or uh, yeah right you know, yeah, yeah. You, you're you are getting in the feed of these accounts and you should look at how many followers they have somebody has two thousand followers five thousand followers those are those are ripe if somebody has twenty five thousand fifty thousand a hundred thousand followers engaging is is pretty difficult and you get lost mm -hmm. but a thousand to five thousand followers when you start commenting you'll watch your your follower account will will increase and your engagement will increase and you'll find people that comment you're like that's really useful I want to sure. follow them or I'm gonna yeah, add yeah. them to this to this list um so it's fascinating it, uh, the the key thing is I know everybody's reading in the press you know Elon's crazy and not not crazy but he's just his own person and doing things his own way uh you should be on twitter for your business for your personal brand and you should learn how to use it because i i don't think we want to bet against elon and i think this platform is going to evolve into something much different than it is now and you kind of have your chance now it's like a reset you can get in on the there ground there's a little bit of a reset happening right yeah, that's yeah. for sure you know, it's yeah. interesting. I was I was talking to somebody the other day that it's interesting you say you don't want to bet against Elon. I was talking to somebody the other day who knows that I've always been a supporter of Elon's business efforts, right? Because I, like he's had a lot of success and he's done a lot of things that I thought were st uh, stupid maybe is the right <laughs> Crazy. word yeah, at yeah, the yeah, time yeah. wrong. Um, like, you know, when he launched the first x.com PayPal, you know, decades yep. ago, I was like, why would we use the internet for commerce? What this is so yeah, stupid. Yeah. Obviously, I was wrong, right? And what he's doing, and we can look and look at Tesla. Tesla, we can look at um, uh, the, the 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 SpaceX. But yep. what is often thing, yeah. forgotten is Starlink, right? This is oh, bringing yeah. right. Yeah. See, like most yeah. people forget totally. that this totally. is and like this changed internet for people in rural America. Oh, it changed internet Amazing. for people running, uh, the, you know, their lives from like RVs. And it also changed the internet for Ukraine. And, and that's yeah. also fascinating, Tremendous. right? So yeah, it is, it is. No, it like there are, and, and it was just like, he saw, he sees things differently than the rest of us. I also think he, uh, for whatever reason, maybe he's on the spectrum. I'm not a doctor. I don't know, but well, yeah, he's socially awkward. We are yes. all, I am also socially, I don't want to say we're all socially awkward. I am also socially awkward. I, I don't sound like I am on the show, but I, I really, trust me, I am. I think for him, fame is uh, dangerous and yeah, yeah, running, we've talked about this. Yeah, yeah. running a social yeah. network yeah. might not be the best idea. But to your point, I was, t I, again, I was having this conversation with a friend. I will never bet against Elon. Like he's going to get some things wrong, but more often than not, in a big way, he's going to get things right. So Twitter yeah. X may or may not be the thing he gets right. I don't know, but I'm not betting yeah. against him. Yeah. And it will be just very different in a very different form than it is now. Yeah. So for your business, for your personal stuff, uh, you know, you have, a, I'd like to get in on the ground floor, learn something, get, learn something new. Um, you know, tell us how you use it. Are you, you know, do you generate deals? Are you selling things on, on the platform? Do you stay away from it? You know, feedback at businessbrain.show. There's a lot of commerce and deal making going on in the real estate sections in Twitter. That's for sure. Oh, interesting. All right. Yeah, well, we'll check it out. Links to uh, us and the show uh, for x.com slash twitter.com are in the show notes at businessbrain.show. Go check it out. Go follow us there. And uh, make sure you check out financingthatworks.com and save that 250 bucks. Get yourself set up before you need to be set up. Keep living that charmed life, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>